The story of the League of Nations comes to an end when at the Palace of Geneva, the delegates of many lands meet for the last time. The League is dead, long live the United Nations. Cuban revolutionary troops such as these have invaded Castro's leftist island fortress. But Cuba must not be abandoned to the communists. And we do not intend to abandon it either. There had seemed a chance of peace in Algeria at last. Now hope was shattered, not by the extreme nationalists, but by the army itself. But soon it appeared that the rebels had missed the chance of a coup d'etat. For the British, the old story of retreat. For the Nazis, lightning victory yet again. On to the Acropolis beside the blue waters of the Aegean. On to Crete. Manuel Roxas, newly elected to the presidency, takes the oath of office as a new era of prosperity dawns for the gallant people of the Philippines. The correspondent who confessed, the Czech said, to spying for America is home after 25 months behind red prison bars. Well, do you feel that the Czechs had any justification at all in arresting you? From their point of view, in certain respects they had. The first Morse telegraph. There is the actual tapper tapping. In these troubled times, the Morse code has become more than ever familiar to most of us. For 150 years, this country was under British rule. And now, in its newly won independence, it continues in much of the old tradition. A people like this one, right in front of us. A people like you. Here's something to write home about. See that little blimp up there? She's maneuvering around the 105-story Empire State Building in one of the most daring experiments ever attempted. It's some job to approach the mast, and if you want to get dizzy, just look over the side of the airship with us. Boy, that's a drop. Well, that's uh, much the highest I've ever been up. And I congratulate most warmly all those who will help to make our history live before us, and thus to send us forward with faith in our future.